Anna. Welcome if you're new. For those of you that are new, my name is Anna and this is At Home with Anna. So we are coming off of Easter weekend and I have been so busy gardening. And of course, Easter means lots of cooking and prepping and we did not host this year. We went to my son's house, which was wonderful. It was just a wonderful day. But my house is falling apart. <laughs> We're going to take a break from gardening today because we have severe storms coming. I think probably around two-ish. We've got the warnings for severe um, storms later. So um, I was kind of a lump on a log this morning and Ernie left last night and um, I usually take one day to just like chill and not do much of anything, but I just got up to do the basics and I thought, you know what? I need to get this house in order because I love the thunderstorms. I do, I really do love the storms. I'm not gonna lie, they do scare me a little bit, but the house is just a mess and I can't live like this. So we've got lots of laundry to do. We've got basic cleaning to do. The house isn't filthy, it's just messy. I just came from the grocery store, I ran out, I, I ran out of cream this morning for coffee, so I ran to the grocery store at seven this morning and I picked up a few things and um, yeah. Just basic everyday housekeeping. I will keep you guys posted on the storm. Hopefully we get some footage of some good thunder and lightning. I love the lightning. The lightning is so good for your plants. So I looked it up because I don't know where I learned that lightning was good for plants. I just have known that my whole life. Um, my dad was an avid gardener and so I just have known that, but I, I looked it up. And it says the heat of the lightning interacts with nitrogen and oxygen in the atmosphere. As a result, nitrates are formed. When, the dilute, when diluted with rain, they fall to the ground as a natural fertilizer. So, so I love the lightning. I just, I feel like every time there's thunder and lightning, I'm like, oh my gosh, my plants are loving it. So that and the water, the free water is wonderful. So anyways, we're gonna start off with doing some laundry and then just the basic housekeeping activities and um, hopefully get some footage of some really good weather. If I sound funny, it is because my allergies are kicking my butt. <laughs> We've got high pollen alerts every day, I kid you not. And I don't let that stop me. I still go out and play in the dirt. So if I sound funny, that is why. But I'm not like a lot of people. I cannot do one or the other, garden or housework. I have to do both. I have to keep my house neat and tidy. I don't feel, I at the end of the day, when I'm done playing in the garden and creating and digging and all that kind of stuff, after I take my shower, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I just want to make a cup of coffee, sit down on the sofa, watch a movie, watch YouTube, you know, support all my friends on YouTube. Um, and that's what I want to do. So when I let my house get out of whack, which is, you know, kind of a mix of, like I mentioned, Easter, gardening, the whole thing. And it wasn't horrible. I know some people are going to be like, what are you talking about? Your house is not a mess. To me, it is. <laughs> it is. And I do not like to get behind on laundry. That is something that is, you know, I'm really adamant about. Um, because nobody likes to do laundry. Mama ain't got time for that. So I like to keep laundry, you know, going and I, I just don't like to get behind on it. So, um, and I had a lot of gardening clothes and towels from showering and stuff that needed to get washed and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, so today I'm just, you know, getting the house back in order. I have some beautiful plants that I'm going to be putting in the backyard and I'm super excited to get started, but it's a lot of work um, before I get to digging. I have to um, get rid of all that bark and, uh, you know, pull weeds and all that kind of stuff, which is going to be great because, you know, with all this rain we're getting, um, it's going to make it really easy work of getting those, you know, grasses and weeds out of the garden. So I'm super happy about that. But, uh, you know, I got to get the garden prepped before I can, you know, get plants in the ground. But I'm starting from where I planted the hydrangeas and moving over into the garden. So we've got a lot of work to do and I'm picking up things. And this time around, I'm, you know, I'm being really, you know, um, picky about <clears throat> what I put in the ground. I want to make sure that what I put in the ground is going to come back for me next year. So thank you for everybody who has been commenting and letting me know. I love Columbine so much. And um, I had mentioned that I had planted it in a pot and 
because we change our pots out for each season and I had planted, you know, fall pots, I took them out. So I didn't have any experience with them in the ground. Um, and so now I do because I've got them in the ground in the front and I'm also going to be adding them in the back. They're just such a beautiful plant to me. I love the, you know, how airy they are and fragile that they look, but they're super um, sturdy plants. It's crazy. So anyways, thank you to everybody who let me know that you have those and they come back year after year. Very happy about that. Um, but I got some grasses we're going to be putting in because I really wanted, you know, some uh, perennial grasses that are going to come back for me year after year. Um, for a couple of reasons, I love the whimsical look of grasses. I just, I love it. And I love how they add that whimsy in the wind, you know, how they just kind of billow in the wind. I love that um, in my garden. So super excited about those. And the second reason is because they can be separated, you know, so maybe, maybe next year, depending on how well they grow this year, or maybe in a couple of years, I'll be able to separate them. And, you know, like you can do most perennials and, um, and get, you know, a couple free plants out of there. So I'm really happy about those. And then uh, what else did I do? I haven't gotten any of the annual flowers yet, but little things at a time, I've got to get the structure down in the garden first. So um, I've got lots of things coming up, some things not coming up. Like I said, we made a lot of mistakes last year. It was our first year um, experiencing a garden in winter. So a lot of things were pulled up that shouldn't have been pulled up um, that were going to come back this year. Um, the flocks came back this year. And I think I called them, who, what did I call them? Um, something different. Um, in the last video or the video before I called them something different, but it's a flux and um, those came back and I had no idea that those were going to come back. That is crazy to me. So um, I have one of those growing. I'm not sure if I can disturb it because I need to move it with what I'm doing. So I'm not really sure if I can disturb it or not, <laughs> um, but I, uh, I'm, I may need to. Um, you know, to, to move it because I have a plan, you know, a plan of action for where I'm putting things. So, uh, so I have that and then, you know, but it's going to, like I said, take a minute, but I'm super excited this morning. I went out and walked my garden to see if anything new popped up. And I noticed that my sweet baby magnolia is starting to leaf out. And that makes me so happy. And the maple tree in the front yard. Somebody had mentioned <laughs> that there are no trees in my neighborhood. Maybe I could start that. There are absolutely a tree in everybody's yard. Everybody has a tree, um, but they're all dormant right now. So it's very hard to see them on camera because, you know, they don't have leaves on them. But pay attention. Um, coming up, you, you know, everybody's trees are starting to leap out now. You'll start to see. I have a maple tree in the front yard that's starting to get its leaves. And um, But yes, we all have trees in our yard. So, <laughs> um, uh, you know, we're not a, a treeless a treeless neighborhood. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, but understandable because you cannot tell that there are trees in people's yards um, at all. But anyways, mine are all starting to leaf out and that just makes me so happy. I'm still waiting on my crepe myrtle. We shall see um, what she does. She's got leaves growing out of the bottom um, and I did a little fingernail test on the top and I saw green, so we shall see. Um, but yeah, so anyways, it makes me feel good to get my house reset. It sets me up for the next day. You can see we got a tornado watch. We had one all day yesterday until I went to bed. I went to bed. I told Ernie, I'm going to bed. If I fly away, I fly away. <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, but yeah, the weather was, uh, it was, it was lovely. I love it. I told you, I love the thunder. I love the lightning. It's so good for your gardens. It just makes me feel so good when I see lightning. Cause I just know that it's creating fertilizer in the atmosphere and that's dropping down on my plants. And uh, anytime I can get free fertilizer and water, I'm, I'm here for it anyways. Um, but I felt really good at the end of this day. I woke up the next morning and I was just rejuvenated refreshed. My house was clean. My laundry was done. I was able to sit and have my coffee and, you know, kind of plan out my day. Um, unfortunately, the next day <laughs> we were having thunderstorms as well. So um, I couldn't get out in the garden the next day, but it's fine. Um, you know, it's, I was still able to get out and film and, and all that jazz um, eventually. 
but I'm loving the garden so far. Um, just getting, you know, it all put to bed is what I'm really looking forward to. But it's a process, you know, it's, it's, it's going to take me all of spring, you know, and some of summer to, um, yeah, I'm going to be gardening until fall. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so there's going to be a mix on this channel of what you see me doing right now and me out in the yard. But that is why my channel is called At Home with Anna, because I do all things home. And I, I you know, clean, organize, cook, um, and garden. I do it all. You know, I do hauls. I, sh you know, take you shopping with me. I do all kinds of things. So um, I do a little bit of everything. And I love those channels. And I know that a lot of you do, too. Just love the channels where you get a little bit of inspiration for everything, you know, on the channel. Just, it keeps it, you know, nice. It keeps it, keeps you going, <laughs> you know. Um, but on rainy days during the spring and during the summer, because we get a lot of summer storms too, those are the days that are my catch-up days. And it's lovely. I'm able to, you know, keep my house in order, keep the laundry up, um, and, and then the following day I can get out and, you know, or when weather permits, I can get out and I can garden. And it just really gets the ground prep for me too. It's me it's a muddy mess. <laughs> I'm always a lot dirtier than I normally am gardening, but um, it makes for weeding and planting so much easier, you know, after the rain. So it's just like kind of the perfect combination, you know, of everything. We had had the grandkids over. It was really nice. I'm really good friends. Um, I was actually friends with her first. My daughter-in-law's mom and I were friends before our kids met. <laughs> and, um, and so she had come to Tennessee to visit. And so she came over with all the grandkids. So we got to hang out with our grandkids together. It was really nice. But I went out to the driveway to go greet her when she pulled up. And my son's friend, who's a city inspector, he's in this area a lot because a lot of buildings going on. He pulled up. And so he came in and I made biscuits and gravy and um, eggs. And we all sat around and visited. And the kids played. It was such a lovely day. And Ernie was home and, you know, whatever. So the bathroom, you know, my, my, uh, powder room here got used you'll see me putting toys away um the the master bedroom closet has become the toy closet now <laughs> a neighbor was so gracious and gave me some um, lovely toys for my granddaughter and grandson when he's old enough um to play with but I don't have anywhere to put them and <laughs> they're big you'll see here in a little bit um and I just am storing them in my closet and so when she comes over I pull them all out and, um, you know, she hangs out in my bedroom because it's right there off the kitchen and she plays and I have, you know, the TV going with her shows and she loves it. So um, we're going to get the room done and get the toys put away. Um, but it was a really nice visit. Uh, it was impromptu to have, you know, an extra guest over. We love him. We love Justin. Um, so it was so nice. Ernie, like I said, I don't know. Ernie was home that day. So uh he got to, you know, visit with them, and it was just really lovely. Um, you know, I love those impromptu visits. I love visiting with people, so it was a nice day. So I needed to get, you know, uh, toys put away and, you know, just all of that kind of the extra stuff that, you know, company creates um, along with my everyday housework and the laundry that, you know, we had created over, you know, the last couple days or week or so of gardening, so... We're taking care of all of that today. I am in absolute love with how my gardens in the front came out, the two at the end of the driveway. That was so scary for me to do um, because I've, you know, like I said in the video, we had never done no dig gardening. So I watched so many videos on it. So I am hoping and praying that um, they do well and they continue to do well. So um, I'm going to give that this season. And if I see that they are progressing and doing great, then I'm going to pick that same technique up in a few other spots on my property and really run with it because it was super simple um, to do. The hardest part, I think, was finding enough cardboard <laughs> to cover. And you can, you don't have to use cardboard. You could use um, contractor brown paper, um, you know, or anything like that. But um, because we had some pretty sturdy grass in there, I wanted to use cardboard. So we had been saving it. Um, 
That's the hardest part. And then lifting the bags of topsoil. <laughs> That's the hard part. The planting is easy because for unless you're doing like a nice shrub like we did with the hydrangea, you're planting in that beautiful loose topsoil. So it just makes gardening a breeze. And the instant gratification of having a garden right away after doing that was just amazing and I almost feel like we've tricked ourselves so I don't know I'll let you guys know how it turns out but I I just think it's wonderful and like I said if it turns out to be wonderful I'm going to continue that garden in the front yard um I may or may not get to that this spring and summer but I um I really want to I want my yard to be mostly I said this to you guys last year I want my yards to be mostly garden as opposed to grass so Anyways, this little thing that I'm doing right here, I'm trying to keep up on this drawer. So I'm trying to keep it hair free. So I do this periodically. I just come in and clean my brushes and vacuum out any extra hair. There's a uh, Q-tip in here that I use to get my under eye makeup out, <laughs> needed to go in the trash. Um, I'm just trying to keep up. I try and keep up on these little tiny things. This is one of those two, one to three things that I do extra. Um, with my everyday housework, you know, I just kind of toss it in there. Um, just to keep up on things around the house. This is a perfect example of that. It didn't take me but, you know, just a couple minutes. I had the vacuum out already and, um, you know, and now it's taken care of and I can keep up on it. So we're just going to get the um, house vacuumed. I'm going to stop and have some lunch. Um, very important to remember to eat. I uh, Ernie will text me on days when he knows I'm out in the garden and he'll say, have you eaten today? Because I'm so excited to get out in the garden. I'll have like a bowl of cereal or something and then I get out there and then before I know it, it's three or four o'clock and, you know, I haven't eaten. So I'm trying to get myself on that schedule again of having breakfast having lunch, you know, and then sometimes, depending on what time I have lunch, I will not eat dinner. It's so funny, the older you get, the less you eat. Um, Ernie and I, if we eat lunch between one and three, we won't eat dinner. We'll have like a bowl of yogurt or something in the evenings. But um, on this particular day, I had a nice sandwich midday. So I didn't have any dinner. This was like my um, liner, <laughs> if you will. So I'm going to sit down and I'm going to enjoy that. I'm really trying hard to remember to eat um, at least two meals a day. You know, it doesn't have to be a fancy meal, but at least two things a day. So I'm just going to sit down and enjoy that um, before I continue with my, my housework. Unfortunately, you do have to um, schedule this kind of stuff in. <laughs> you know, you have to remember to eat when you're working. Um, life gets busy and, um, you know, and I've been enjoying a soda. Uh, Ernie and I don't drink a lot of soda. We usually will open one and we'll share it eventually, you know, like uh, occasionally. And, um, and then it gets tossed away. Uh, the little tiny cans, I cannot find them anymore um, for whatever reason. Um, and Coke Zero. We like Coke Zero when we do drink a soda pop. So, um, I can't find the little mini ones for whatever reason. So anywho, uh, one of the little mini ones we will open and we'll both take a drink or two and then we'll be done. So I pour it over ice and put a straw, but um, I didn't finish it. I don't drink a lot of soda. I drink water on all days. Um, most of the day, coffee. <laughs> coffee plays a big part in my day too. I love coffee. Anyways, I'm getting caught up on all of my laundry, as you can see, and getting that all put away and um, enjoying the weather. And I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to play some music and let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Um, there's not but a couple more minutes left. I hope that you guys got some inspiration to and motivation to tackle your home today, to organize some things, to keep up on your housework, whatever it is that this video can offer you. I hope that you guys received it and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.